In my experience uh, in the API community, hunger has many faces. It's not just one. We see people of all age ranges that attend our food bank and we don't know their situation. People lose a source of income regardless of what you know, issues they have or things they go through. To describe those that are in need of food or in need of services is very difficult. They look like you and me. They look like anybody that would be walking in the streets. The Israel's Food Bank here, we provide Asian appropriate food to those clients here. We have a staple of always having rice available and tofu and fresh vegetables. So they can always rely on getting those Asian staples here at our food bank. It's important to have these type of services for our API community because a lot of services doesn't gear towards them. You know, we have employees that can relate to them and understand what they're going through. A lot of our clients have to make the difficult decisions of either purchasing their own food or either paying for their homes or apartment rentals. We foster a sense of community here at ACRS Food Bank because we not only provide food services here in the International District, but we provide our food bank services all over King County, uh, different patches of communities everywhere. The reason why that's important and that's re the reason why that's unique is because it gives those individuals that are not able to travel to our food bank here at the International District to be in the comfort of their own community centers or, and community members, and the food is delivered straight to them. So the process of loading our mobile food van is that early in the morning, we try to take items such as our rice, some of our tofu, our boxes of fresh vegetables, canned items, etc. And then we head over to the community sites where we are usually greeted by the community members there. They help us unload some of the items. So once they receive it, we either head to the next location to do the same thing, or we return back to our food bank, grab more food similar to the same things that I mentioned earlier, and deliver it to the next site until we're all done with that. So when people come and wait in line at our food bank, they come early in the morning, some of them even at six o'clock in the morning. The line can be from 200 individuals to 500 individuals on certain days. It takes a lot to run our food bank. We have many volunteers that uh, come on a weekly schedule to help us prepare different things at the food bank. What I like best about our ACRS food bank is that we can bring a smile to families. Those who attend our food bank don't just receive food for themselves, but they usually tend to bring their food back to their families. You know, knowing that we can provide food to not just the huge amount of people that is outside in line at our site, but that amount of people is probably multiplied five times fold uh, when they bring it back to their families. And that's uh, something that I'm proud of. If I were to ask a food bank client what was the one thing that they're looking forward to finding here at our food bank, they would say rice. So when we think about issues affecting the AAPI community, hunger is not one of them. It's something we don't really talk about. So Walk for Rice did two things for me. It helped me become more aware of hunger in my community. It also, it gave me a way to figure out how we can solve this issue together as a community. Walk for Rice is happening this year on Saturday, June 30th. It's an event that's been going on for more than 20 years in the Seattle community. About 50% of funding for ACRS's food bank and nutrition programs comes from Walk for Rice. Come join us on Saturday, June 30th at Seared Park for Walk for Rice. It's gonna be a great event. Bring your friends, your family, your colleagues, your dog, bring everyone you know and have them join us in helping to end hunger in our communities.